So here we are, we're at the end of 2023, starting 2024 in just a few days. And the question that I received recently was, what tools are you going to be using in 2024? There's a little surprise baked in here. So if you're a subscriber, you wanna listen in. If you're not a subscriber, if you're new, I'll just tell you what it is I use and why, and hopefully this helps you out in your blogging journey. Every good blog post starts off with a keyword, and I use Low Fruits for my keyword research. I have been using Low Fruits for quite a while and will continue to do so in 2024. I think it's a very economical tool. It's one that uh, I'm able to find lots of interesting keywords to write about from a seed keyword. It's really easy to use and for a small expenditure, which is a pay-as-you-go type tool, which I really like. I'm not locked into a monthly subscription. Uh, I'm able to get a lot of value out of it for the amount of money that I spend on it. If you've never used Low Fruits before, I'm an affiliate. I have a 10% off discount code in the description for this video. So if you haven't used the tool yet and you want to give it a shot, you should do that. I've got some videos on how to use Low Fruits as well. Look those up. So next up is an AI writer. And the tool that I plan to use in 2024 is seowriting.ai. So I really like seowriting.ai for a variety of reasons. Um, they have a great one-click blog post tool. The developer is continually rolling out new features and new functionality uh, on almost a monthly basis. And so uh, I think the uh, value that you get out of the tool is exceptional for what you pay. Uh, if you haven't tried out seowriting.ai, I'm an affiliate. I've got a discount code in the video description for 25% off. Uh, it's just a really good value and a really good tool. And they continue to roll out more and more new features and functionality that bring it closer and closer to another tool that I used quite a bit as well, which was, which was Koala Writer. And I just ended my Koala Writer subscription, not because I don't like Koala Writer. Unfortunately, uh, I can't get a discount code for the subscribers to my channel. And since I can't do that, and I am able to do that with seowriting.ai, I'm going all in with SEO writing. Uh, again, Koala Writer is a great tool, really love it, really enjoyed using it, but I need to be able to pass on some savings to my subscribers. And since I'm not able to do that, I'm not going to be uh, suggesting that tool in 2024 at this point. So does this mean I'll only use SEO writing all year? Now, of course, there's new tools coming out all the time. You know, I hear about different ones. And if I try something out and I think it's worthwhile, I'll definitely share it, of course. Does that mean I'm going to switch over from SEO writing? Probably not. Uh, just because I really like the developer, I really like what he's doing with the tool. And I like the way that he involves the people that use the tool. So and what I mean by that is you can go in, you can look at all the features that are planned, features that are in progress, features that are complete. You can vote on the planned ones, and you can just see all the work that, that's being done on this tool, which just makes me want to support it because of uh, the way that they've involved the user in the process of building this better tool. Next tool in my list that I'll be using for SEO optimization will be Neuron Writer. I've been using Neuron Writer for quite some time. I think it's been over a year now. Uh, the tool just keeps getting better and better now. It does have some AI writing capability. I specifically use it for SEO optimization. I think that's what the strength of this tool is. Uh, I think it's on par with Surfer SEO. Can still get this through AppSumo for a lifetime deal. Uh, I highly recommend if you do not have an SEO optimization tool that you look at the link in my in the video description and get get over to AppSumo and grab Neuron Writer before it goes off a lifetime deal. I don't know how much longer it will be on. It's been on longer than I thought it would uh, on the platform. So again, I'm an affiliate. I will make a commission if you buy Neuron Writer. Uh, I have a ton of videos on Neuron Writer that you can go look at if you're not still not convinced that it's the tool for you. I suggest you go look at those and uh, jump at this before 
it disappears off lifetime deal. Now, I think in 2024, blog readability is going to be incredibly important. Uh, you need to bookmark uh, the Hemingway app. And what the Hemingway app is going to do is going to give you a readability score. It does it by grade level. As you can see here, this article that I dropped in here about fly, a fly fishing topic, uh, you know, a grade eight, tells you how many words is in the article, tells you how many sentences are difficult to read. You can go in and make changes and simplify this text, make it easier to read, make it more scannable, and that way people interact with your content longer. And hopefully if you've got affiliate links anywhere in the article, they'll convert into sales for you. Uh, another tool that I'm going to be using to increase my blog post readability is definitely Grammarly. Now, what you're looking at is the paid version of Grammarly. Grammarly is not cheap. I did happen to jump on board a 40% off discount at Black Friday, so I renewed my so I renewed my subscription to Grammarly based on that, and I'm really glad I did. In fact, I've been living without it for about eight months. Probably not so smart because there's just a lot of things Grammarly can do to make a blog post much more readable. And I think any time that you spend some time on the readability of your blog posts, I can't confirm this for sure. I just think Google likes blog posts that are more readable and their algorithms aren't stupid. And I think they're able to go in and look at a blog post and get a sense of readability based on the algorithms that they use. Now, does Google say that readability is part of their ranking factors? I don't think it does, but that doesn't mean it isn't, just because they haven't talked about it publicly yet. Their goal at Google is to sell advertising and to also bring forward the best articles and blog posts to a user so they get their questions answered. That's what their goal is. So the more readable your blog posts are, the better position you're going to be in to either hold a ranking or get ranked higher. Another tool that I use is PhotoP. PhotoP is a Photoshop clone, uh, but it's just done in the cloud. I use it for editing photos. So with PhotoP, uh, because it's a Photoshop clone, you can do a lot of things with layers. You can export your files in lots of different for file formats, including WebP. And for uh, people that are really hardcore users, you can even import raw files from your DSLR or your mirrorless camera in here. Uh, it doesn't accept every raw format, but it does uh, accept quite a few. And normally you'd have to get into a paid tool before you'd be able to do any raw file editing. So that's what I use for photo editing. Another tool that uh, I'm using quite a bit is ghost.org. I am not a WordPress user. I'm a ghost.org user, and there's a reason for that. With ghost.org, uh, you can build a mailing list and you can send out newsletters on a regular basis. Now, the very, very cool thing about ghost.org, not only can you build a newsletter, but you can monetize a newsletter as well. So they have a, a easy Stripe integration and uh, you can build another monetization channel by offering users a paid newsletter. So when you think of paid newsletters, you know, you think of something like Substack and Substack, there are people there that are making uh, full-time incomes from their newsletters. So, you know, your blog has monetization capability. Your newsletter would have monetization capability. If you're supporting your blogs and, and your newsletter with a YouTube channel, that's another monetization channel. So I'm all about trying to give myself as many potential monetization channels as possible uh, to hopefully grow my income in the future. Now, I offer a free newsletter right now, but when it grows large enough, I'll switch over and uh, once my subscriber base is there, uh, it'll be a paid newsletter for everybody that comes on as a new subscriber. That's a future thing, but I think it's a very viable path to additional monthly income. So another tool that I'll be using in 2024 is uh, ChatGPT, and in this case, ChatGPT+. Uh, I like to build GPTs and ChatGPT Plus to help make life easier for me. Things like simplify my text, uh, use the Dolly 3 AI image generator. I have a visualizeit.gpt, Mike's super cool blog post generator GPT. All of these are, are things that I just built myself. And, 
And really a GPT is just sort of a prompt on steroids, right? It's, it just gives you the capability of building out a more full-fledged full tool to help you with your workflow when you're blogging or doing any other kind of work as well. Um, obviously, you could build GPTs that would help you build YouTube video titles, hashtags, just all kinds of different things that people are building in ChatGPT+. So how much does all this cost? Well, like Low Fruits, again, is pay as you go. Uh, I believe $25 gets you 2,000 credits toward uh, keyword research. So you could go in and analyze up to 2,000 different long tail keywords for $25. SEOwriting.ai has a variety of different subscriptions that you can purchase depending on how much uh, AI article generation you need to do. The Hemingway tool is free. Uh, Neuron Writer, uh, you can buy that at AppSumo starting at $89 in, in their tier one license, all the way up to multiple codes uh, if you think you need to do uh, quite a few queries and SEO optimizations in a month. Uh, Hemingway, that's free. Grammarly has a free tool and a paid tool. I think the paid tool is well worth it. Uh, PhotoP, free. So that's great. You know, to get almost a full-fledged Photoshop clone for free is pretty awesome. Ghost.org, uh, if you decide that you want to spin up a new blog and you want to run that on Ghost.org, uh, that starts at $9 a month and that's for your own custom domain. Uh, you can link to a custom domain for that cost. ChatGPT Plus, I believe, is still at $20 a month. So these are the tools that I'm using in 2024. I think the biggest uh, change for me this year is I'm really concentrating on readability, so Hemingway and Grammarly are going to be key. And then lastly, I talked about my move over to seowriting.ai exclusively. Again, love Koala Writer. Uh, I just want to be able to offer a discount to my subscribers. And so for now, uh, I'm going to put my full support behind seowriting.ai. Uh, I'll see what other AI writers come out during the year, if there's something better or something with other features that I think you need to know about. Obviously, I'll share those as well. So for now, that's it. I hope this is helpful for you. And until next time, take care.